Rhinitis and sinusitis are medical conditions meaning inflammation of the nose, rhinitis, and inflammation of the sinuses, sinusitis. Rhinosinusitis is when both rhinitis and sinusitis occur at the same time. There are different causes of these conditions in dogs, and in this video we will discuss them, as well as possible signs to look out for and some possible treatment options. So, let's get started. What are rhinitis and sinusitis? A dog's nose is a particularly amazing organ canines can detect smells 10,000 minus 100,000 times better than us humans. While the olfactory system and nasal cavity in a dog can be quite complex, for the sake of this article, we'll briefly talk about some relevant anatomy to help you visualize where the areas of rhinitis and sinusitis can occur. A dog's nose and nasal cavity are the face's hallways of the respiratory system that continue to deliver air further along into the respiratory tract. We start with their hairless nasal planum, the tip or part of the nose you see, with their two nostrils, hold openings in the nose also called nares. In between the two nares is a wall called the septum which separates the two symmetrical halves of the nasal cavity into identical left and right sides. As you go past the nares and into the nasal cavity, thin turbinate bones called the nasal conchi are present they resemble scrolls and can vary in length depending on each dog's individual nose length. These areas allow for nasal cells to attach to as well as a large surface area for air to pass through. These voided passageways of space in between conchi are called meat uses. Next, the sinuses, which consist of three frontal sinuses and a maxillary recess, are cavities around the nose passageways. They are an extension of the nasal cavity itself and all communicate with the nasal cavity. These sinuses can fill pockets of air in between the skull bones. Any illness affecting one or both of these areas can be acute, come on suddenly, or chronic, occur over a longer period of time. It is important to note that when there is inflammation and irritation in these areas, specific cells can release secretions. This discharge, depending on the cause, severity, and length of time present, can change in composition over time. It may start as serous, water-like, in nature and then become more mucoid, slimy-like. Further along, it could also become bloody or mucus combined with pus, mucopurulent, etc. There can also be potential damage to the nasal turbinates and destruction of the blood vessels in the area. What are the signs of rhinitis and sinusitis? Signs that can be seen will vary not only due to the cause but also whether it is an acute or chronic issue. Things to be on the lookout for that could occur include repeated or frequent sneezing, nasal discharge, bleeding from the nose, epistaxis, eye discharge, open mouth breathing, difficulty taking a breath in, snoring, reverse sneeze, swelling of the face, ulceration on the nose, facial pain, head shyness. How do I care for a dog with rhinitis or sinusitis? At the veterinary practice, a complete history and physical exam will start the process. Depending on what's found from the history and physical exam, several tests may be recommended. These could commonly include blood work to evaluate for systemic changes, or imaging such as X-ray, which at times may be limited. Advanced imaging, especially court, computed tomography, and or emery, magnetic resonance imaging, can be very helpful. Nasal cytology and biopsy, culture samples, or fungal serology may also be a part of the plan. Rhinoscopy, a small, flexible scope that can go into the nasal cavities to look for problems or collect potential samples and or foreign objects, may be helpful in certain cases. Treatment will be best tailored to the specific cause of the disease. Sometimes in mild cases or suspected viral cases, supportive care may be all that is needed. This could include fluid therapy, assisted feeding, or using an e-collar to prevent self-mutilation if needed. When antibiotics are used to treat secondary bacterial infections, these may last for several weeks. For other specific causes, a nasal foreign body may be removed with rhinoscopy while a fungal disease would be treated with antifungal medication. Sometimes, steroids or other medication to manage inflammation or allergies may be needed. 
Dental disease may require the affected tooth to be removed surgically along with antibiotics and pain medication. In more severe cases that are not getting better with treatment, surgical exploration of the area may be needed to visualize and remove infected tissue, flush out the sinuses, or allow for proper drainage. For those with cancer in the affected area, radiation therapy and surgery may be the best treatment option. Rhinitis, sinusitis, or rhinosinusitis can all come about due to a myriad of causes. Once signs affecting the nose or surrounding areas develop, it's important to take them seriously as in many cases, a prompt diagnosis and treatment protocol will only be an advantage for both your dog and you.